All right, the HP 1500VA UPS. It's been on the charger um, probably two hours now, I guess. It's got to 41 and stayed there, so I'm assuming it's where it either stops or goes into like a float charge kind of scenario. So, with the mains connected, as you can see, it's pulling about 460 watts with the lab power supply going as well. But that's the heat light running. So now, this white one here is our AC to this unit, and you'll hear it will boost. Oh, I can't silence that alarm, it must be, as soon as the battery lights flash, it must be below, below its operating voltage, I'm assuming, you know, 36 to 34 would be pretty standard operating range. And we can't guarantee how good our uh, battery pack is, being that it's just an old lead acid battery pack that could be years old. As you see, it is continuing to run 400 watts at the moment. Could be a bit of voltage drop in the leads, they're only pushed together. But it proves that it works well. Plug him back in. Go straight into charge mode and the voltage starts heading back up. Let's see if I've got a glow that doesn't pull so much power. There's one over here. Just disconnect that plug. Just had to get something insulated to uh, pull that out because it was so hot. No, no, this is a 100 watt. Quite. Plug that in instead. We'll see if it sits above 36 this time. That'll kind of give us an idea of whether this battery pack's worth playing with anymore or not. It's almost back up to 40. Righto, let's unplug it at 40. So when it's above 36, it enables you to kill the, uh, kill the alarm. telling you that it's going flat. So the battery light's not flashing this time. It's quite happily running that 100 watt resistive load. And we've got 36.1 volts. So you wouldn't call a um, battery like this 12 volt battery depleted until you uh, it down probably below 10, 10.5 so, we'll say 
So 31.5 volts is what I would call lead acid batteries completely depleted. Anything under 11, which will be 33 volts, probably getting to the point where it's not delivering the power it needs to. So we've got 35.8 volts sitting at the moment. And yeah, as you can see, it will sit there and run a backup load from not fully charged, obviously it wasn't. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. It's, seems to be working fine, so uh, we will build a two, two 5S lithium batteries, so essentially two of these, like these 8 volt Milwaukee batteries. We'll build a couple of those up, see if we can't get at least 10 amp hour. Um, if we get 10 amp hour, we've got more than what this had. Had a better voltage with a higher discharge rate, so uh, we'll start with that, but that'll also allow me to charge them back up with a LiPo charger, so I can keep them balanced that way. So I don't have to worry quite so much about the cells being perfectly the same. But yeah, this is the HP works. It works well. So we're gonna leave it at that for now. This HP is gonna be put onto a power board and put into service for my laptop uploading computer and uh, modem. So that when the power goes down we don't lose everything, it keeps going for a bit. It's not gonna take much to keep my big laptop going, all the upload computer going. I think that Upload computer pulls 35-40 watts to its laptop charger when the battery in it's charged, so it's going to give me quite a bit more runtime. Yeah, as you can see, we're definitely not on the power circuit anymore. We're only pulling 40 watts, and that's mostly going to be that lab power supply doing that. Success. All right. Thanks for watching.